Greetings, everyone! Welcome back to another vanilla-flavored episode of Minecraft. I am Zerul. I'm your conductor for today's train wreck of an episode. Uh, on this Thanksgiving special, I am up here on this little food area, and I think it's time that we decided to get ourselves some, uh, I think it's time for some chicken. Yep, I think it's time for some chicken. And the only way to do chicken in Minecraft is automated. So, let's go ahead and jump into this here. Um, you'll see I've got a number of things here in my inventory. We're going to be using a lot of this here. And we're going to go ahead and build a simple, automatic chicken breeder cooker thing. Now, the, the idea is very simple. Um... Basically, um, you are going to have a put that there. Um, you're going to have a actually we'll probably move this out a little bit here. Dispenser that is going to automatically dispense eggs into a small half block area for baby chickens to reside in. When they grow up, they'll automatically hit a um, bit of lava, and at that point in time, they will uh, die. They'll burn, they'll drop their stuff, and then we'll collect it for later. We'll get uh, plenty of uh, feathers and plenty of cooked, automatically cooked chicken. No uh, fuel needed to be wasted on that there. All right. So um, I'm going to go ahead and put a couple things here. Like so. And I'm going to go ahead and go grab a few more things. Just throw all this in here. And I'll be back in just a few moments. Alright, so I've got the tools that I need. Uh, got my pizza out of the oven, which is, you know, the big important thing. Got some more eggs. That sounds a little bit low. I guess the volume's okay. All right, so let's go ahead and dive into this. Now, this is going to follow a very similar design to a lot of this, uh, to what I've been doing with my item elevator. Uh, but first thing is first, we need to put down what is going to be our chest. Now, let's do this. Uh, like so, this would give us a framework to where we're going here. I've got few hundred on that I'm, I'm good for there and let's place this here okay so the general idea um, let's start off by pulling this out we won't need to worry about this for a little bit the chest where do we want the chest to go uh, let's see here all right tell you what let's do this that should be okay. And then we're going to place a half slab right there. Now let's go ahead and break this down for the moment. So th what's going to happen is the chickens, are uh, when they're dispensed, this is a dispenser, they're going to hatch here. As long as the, the top has been completely covered, they won't hop around any, so they'll just sit peacefully. Um, right on uh, that half of a block, and then right above this we'll have lava, so when they grow up they'll die. So here is going to be our collection point. Yep, I perfect, I got that exactly the way I wanted. Um, so they will burn up here, their stuff will follow, and then we'll go. Alright. So the clock mechanism is basically identical to what we've done before. So we've got a comparator over here. And we've got a repeater here. I'm going to try and squeeze this into as small a space as I can. And another repeater here. To make sure it goes in properly. Good. So, when there's an egg in here, this will detect this. It will send a pulse out, which will cut this off, firing one egg out, and this will keep doing this until this is empty. Now, we need to build up 
the sides. I think I need to go downstairs and get some more stuff. And actually, though, I do want to do the sides out of glass. So we can actually see in all the glorious details what exactly is happening. Alright, like so. Alright, now we're going to place a lava bucket here. So what you'll see is there's a half of a block gap there. Um, and just to test it, let's grab three stacks of eggs here. Throw this in our dispenser. Yep, see? Chickens are staying put. However, I do want to... Yep, they're starting to move up here. So let's fill this area in. There we go. So there's a few chickens left over. If they happen to glitch into the walls, they will not suffocate because this is all glass. It will accept for the dispenser. When they grow up, they'll die and we'll get stuff in here. All right, so this is the fairly simple part. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to we get to feed stuff into here. And actually that is what I wanted to reverse. That will go there, that will go there. So this hopefully should not power that, which is fine. This is all good. All right. I'm losing my place here. Let's go downstairs and grab a few more blocks. Actually, since I've got a bucket of bucket now, let's do this. Oh, well. Didn't take as much damage as I thought it would. So, it worked! Alright. Grab a few more blocks. Uh, let's go to sleep real quick first. Sleep! Here we go. And let's head downstairs. Gotta, I gotta keep teaching myself, use control. You know what, we'll just grab stone slabs. We've got plenty of them and they will do the job for us. And give me more stone slabs. Any more stone slabs. Anyone, anyone, please. Nope. Alright, good enough. I gotta put that ladder back up at some point. Around and around and around we go. Where we stop, I've got no idea. And we we can decorate the outside of this up, so in fact, like, yeah. Alright. Let's do a bit of stairs here. Okay. So, we now have a... Automatic chicken hatching cooking thing set up. So that's the first part. Now we got to get the breeder going. So this is going to be basically the same sort of situation here. Except. Whoa. Actually, I think I may need to raise the wall up a little bit here. Uh, let's make some carpet. We'll have three areas here for the chickens to set in. All right. You know what? Let's. I'm gonna take down a few pieces of this wall here over here. Good enough. Let's uh, build this back up a bit. We'll just f make this flush with the back side here. Good enough. Good enough. Okay. 
So we'll be able to look through that top section there uh, if I didn't do this, which I am. I want to be able to look at the chickens from the side. I don't care to see them up there and all their breeding action. Actually, that'll be good enough. Just completely block it off like this. Use that to jump up here. And let's get this increased in height. Um, actually, you deserved it for trying to jump out, chicken. You deserved it. That'll be sufficient. Whoa, getting a bit of hardware lag here. All right, so now if we put if we put in here. In fact, let's break that. Uh, you know what? I don't. There's gonna be enough chickens here. If they, if half, a few of them glitch out and die, I'm not gonna t care too much. But now we can throw chickens in here. We can breed them up, and when they lay eggs, they'll get fed into the dispenser automatically. So I think that's what we're gonna do now. Let's hop down. Looks kind of monolithic, monolithic, doesn't it? Uh, stare. Not the best design appearance, but it gets the job done. I'll probably put a facing on that side at some point. I think I need to move this out a bit more, maybe? Uh, let's see here. That we can just bring down like that. And over here as well. Alright, that's looking okay. Jump up here. That should give us the front we want to see. Alright, let's go fill this thing up with some chickens. Here, chicken, 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 chicken. Alrighty. These chickens seem to be having a... Yeah, one, two, three, four. Bit of a hop, bit of a circle around. All right. Now hitting hitting an, anything with, with an egg does not harm it, so this isn't hurting any of the chickens. They can't die from repeated smacking of eggs. They can die from uh, what I'm going to do to them after the fact, but... Now, I might, in the end, need to go through and replace this with glass. I haven't tested this for long enough to see if the sides of the wall are going to kill them off, but... To be honest, I don't really care that much. I still have the all the chickens on the other side, so plenty of chickens should not be a big deal. Get in there, chickens. This is actually just fun by itself. Eggs erroneous. All 
Oh yeah, this is a lot of fun. This is what you get for spalling on Paul Souls Jr. all the time. All right. All right, we're almost done getting these all filled in here. That is actually quite a bit of chickens. And more chickens. 60 chickens? Yeah, 60 chickens, it looks like. That's a respectable number. Alright. Good. Die. 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 Let's grab our stuff here. And let's load up the dispenser. Let's just chuck these eggs in here. You hear it going off just as if the chicken had laid eggs. You'll see there's a bunch of chickens in here. If I place this here, well, I'm guessing this is... Yep, blocking it. That's fine. I think it looks fine the way it is. Ooh, got some more eggs going. Yep. Alrighty, there we go. Let's finish sealing this guy off. And over here. Alright, this is going to have to be replaced with regular blocks. Because it's right on top of the wall. Alright, that noise is definitely annoying. Go away. We'll just use half slabs because that's what I got. Alright. Yeah, this will need to come out. To make this all look nice and even. We'll do that. Yeah, I want to bring it out one more level on this side here. Yeah, these guys are actually, they're, they're glitching out, but they're not actually escaping. And... If we bring that straight back. Yeah, I think that should work. Have to get some more uh, more bricks here, but uh, I think it should work. Now, what we need is a ladder die to the top. Die. All right, I'm hungry. Let's go eat some melon real quick. How are we doing over here? Yeah, we're doing pretty good. Fall down on some melon. Oh, look at that over there. The uh, the iron foundry. Isn't that a marvelous, marvelous thing to see there? Let's pull those out. Add them to the chest. Uh, ooh, ladders. Good. I can use that. Uh, stone bricks. That's good. Good. 
I was looking for a, uh, something else. There. Light this area up. Alright, you all need to grow up and, uh, make me some food. Yeah, here we go. We're going to put a hatch right here so we can get down there and feed these guys. Because... Uh, will that be... I think, yeah... How did you get there? This place should be well lit. Grrr. Go away, zombie. How on earth did you get over here? Oh, well, wonders never cease. Yep. Alright, I am going to go ahead and uh, cut out at this point, and I will be back in just a moment uh, when we see the fruits of our labors, and we'll see what everything looks like. So, I'll see you in a few. Alrighty, we got some chickens. Chicken, chicken, chickens. Uh, I'm sitting here doing a little bit of feeding on this here, and we're up to 130 chickens at this point. Yeah, we're doing good. Perfecto. All right. Eight more. Can I get can we get the last of this finished off? Come on. You can do it, chickens. Six more. Come on. Five, four, three, two. Come on, someone. Someone wants one. There we go. 150-some chickens, it looks like. Woo! All right. So here we are. We're up to 16 cooked chicken. Now, the one thing about this is every now and then, I do have something that seems like it's... I've so far I've gotten, what, two feathers, three feathers that spit out of the front and they just sort of landed out here. I that or I had... Uh, had some random chicken just showed up and died randomly in the middle of nowhere, but I'm assuming that it's just some some randomness here. So, uh, I think this is a good wrapping up point. We'll pull our chicken out. Have ourselves a good little bit to eat here. It is quite a bit noisy, but when you get around to here, it all gets quiet again. So, we don't have to worry too much about, uh, about dealing with that. So, let's go ahead and... Head down here. Ah, there we go. And I think this should be a good wrapping up point. So a, a pretty simple chicken farm. Uh, like I said, three, uh, well, two overall parts here. Uh, one being the dispenser setup. The other one being the chicken collection. Um, this is 1.7.2, so uh, uh, it works perfectly fine. Uh I've seen bits and pieces of this a number of other places there. Most chicken, automatic chicken cookers are going to be exactly like that. So I uh, hope, hope it helps you all. Um, there we go. Next episode, we are going to go ahead and get working more on this. Um, I don't know if we'll finish it off, but we'll get working more on this here. Um, and uh, we'll, we'll, we'll go from there. And then we'll, we'll figure out something interesting to do during our live stream as well. So uh, thank you all for watching. Uh, I hope you all have a great day. Good night, people.